In this video, we will show you how to wire your PTZ. For this setup, you are going to need a DVR that can handle controlling a PTZ. You will need a Siamese coax cable up to 100 feet. That is a BNC video connection and a DC female and male power connection. You will need a Cat5 cable, the same length as your video and power cable. You will need a 24 volt power adapter. You will need a male pigtail, a female terminal, and of course your PTZ camera. The first step in setting up your PTZ is going to be to take your male pigtail and connect it to your 24 volt power adapter. Because the power is AC, it doesn't matter whether you have a red or a black going into either or, so we'll just go ahead and screw this in. After you make your connection, give it a quick tug to make sure that it's in there securely. The second step is to take your length of Siamese coax cable and connect your power to it. So on the cable there's going to be two ends that look the same, but there is a slight difference. You'll see on one end there is a different power connection than the other. The power connection that you want is the female end. So we'll go ahead and put this in to the cable. The third step after you have connected your power is to take the video connection on your Siamese coax cable and plug it into a video in port on your DVR. The fourth step in setting up your PTZ is going to be taking your Cat5 or Cat6 cable and selecting a twisted pair out of them to be a positive and negative wire. For this example, I'm going to use a solid green wire and a white wire with a green stripe in it. Go ahead and strip the ends of your positive and negative. I'm going to do this and I'll be right back once I'm done. Okay, so I went ahead and stripped my positive and negative and if you remember from before, we said that the green solid is going to be positive and the white with the green stripe is going to be negative. So we're going to put this into the DVR, keeping in mind that A is positive and B is negative. To put these connections in the DVR, you're going to need a flat blade screwdriver. The way this works is you push in the orange tip here and then insert your wire. Once your wire is in, simply let go of your screwdriver and then go to the next one. Doing the same thing, push it back, insert the wire, and then let it go. After you put them in, give them a light tug to make sure that they are in fact held in there, but these are pressure clips so you don't want to pull too hard because they will come out. So we've got a solid connection there, and move on to the next step. All the steps previous to this one were on the DVR side of the installation. In step 5, we're expecting that you have installed or at least gotten your bracket up where you want to put your PTZ and you've run wires to that bracket. With that being said, the fifth step in this setup is going to be taking your female terminal block and attaching it to your red and black wires for power on your PTZ. To do this, simply push the connector onto your wires and then using a small Phillips head or flat blade tighten your connections. After you complete this connection give the wire and the connector a quick tug to make sure that it is on there securely. Step 6 connect to your video and power from your cable to your PTZ can do this by simply giving the video connection a push and a quarter turn and for power you're going to simply just push them together. Step 7 connect your data cable coming from the DVR to your data cable coming from your PTZ. If you look on this wire here you'll see that there's a tag that reads yellow RS45 is the negative and the green RS45 is the positive. 
So if you remember from before, we assigned green to be positive, and we're gonna go ahead and twist these connections together, and we'll be right back. So as you can see, I've completed my connections and I've placed a small piece of electrical tape on each one. This is going to both give them a little bit more strength and it also acts as an insulator because we have a positive and negative wire. Uh, crossing these will disrupt the signal coming from the DVR going to the PTZ, which will most likely result in you not being able to control the PTZ from the DVR. So make sure that these are connected well, insulated well, and should be all set. The eighth and final step is plugging power into your PTZ. You should always plug in power last to prevent any kind of short circuiting. Any type of short circuiting may result in the malfunction or complete destruction of your equipment. So after you are 100% sure that your connections are correct, it is then safe to plug in power.